Hey guys, I'm back. After a very long break, apparently. Sorry about that. I will try to um, upload more consistently here. But um, what I'll do, what I wanted to talk about first is um, these, um, is a comp kind of a separate issue um, that we're having here in the community. Um, this is more of a Me Too type of thing where this is kind of an issue. It just so happens this situation is happening not just in a normal world, but also in the other world where esports and stuff like that. And this connected a lot of, very well. I know I'm going to try to stay away from drama for the most part because, it's, you know, it's, it's drama. But this actually ended up connecting to the segment that I wanted to do anyways. So, there you go. Um... So we have a problem with the Me Too movement, and the Me Too movement has not been seen in a positive light as of late. Um, it has never been in a positive light, and it is only catering to most females in this aspect rather than catering to anybody, to the females that are actually being hurt by this problem. Um, if we've known, is that if we've seen anything from the Me Too movement, which I will show you guys the information that's been happening as of recently in other areas as well, where the Me Too movement has been mostly negative and has been only to fuel women to do false accusations against men rather than having any sort of recourse or repercussions against it. Mostly because women, when they do these type of accusations, they hardly ever get sentenced or have any repercussions to them. So they don't get sent to jail, there's no issue with them doing this, so therefore they just do it out of either hate, spite, jealousy, etc. And there's just they can just do this whenever. And the Me Too movement has been very negative, and it does not help the actual true victims of the of the me of women actually being affected by this. It, it doesn't. It, it negatively affects them. Um, um, and I will go over exactly what that would be here in this um lovely Pokemane um clip here um as we've probably known is that Pokemane is i've done a video with Pokemon before months 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 and months back um about her issues with um i would say uh exit gundam and how you try to get him how she tried to get him essentially canceled there in that uh in that area which is very fucked up and um she has very bad takes, just very bad opinions, and I do not like ever what she says, and this is a problem. And she goes over exactly what some women are going to do, and I'm also going to be slamming some other um, other people as well. So it's not just going to be just Pokemon. It will be uh, at least two other people that we'll be seeing within this clip here that will uh, that I will be breaking down and trying to you know explain to you what's going on. So let's let's start it up. And. I feel like I have been in this industry for so long that I'm desensitized to a lot of the bullshit. However, and I try to give people the benefit of the doubt real hard, but something that you cannot gloss over is as hard as he's trying to make his perspective seem logical, he is completely ignoring the fact that he ultimately based this off of her gender. He's not saying, oh, be careful who you believe on the internet. He is specifically saying she is a woman. Therefore, be careful because they will trick you. Like we are in fantasy erotica and all the women around us are succubus. Like Listen, Pokemon, I know your IQ is not very high, but let me let me try to elaborate on what DeFran is talking about here. First off, Defrain is mostly talking about how, like, how mostly women, um, in general, but in this atmosphere, what we've seen from current day, the past year or so, even in the past year, there was a whole bunch of actual false rape accusations happening across the whole esports community. It was a, it was a massive thing. It was easy, I think Smash Bros. being one of the biggest ones, but this was a huge thing, and women were doing this. So yes, women are doing this. Women are. Falsely, uh, falsely doing rape accusations to the men. Uh, Pokemon, if you've done any research at all, you would know that, like, that's what they've been doing. So what he's saying here is that, yes, uh, e-girls can be scary because they're the only ones that are doing it, Pokemon. There is nobody else. Now, if he's talking about, like, oh, if you're going to your point to where we would start saying that, like, oh, okay, well, uh, Every, as like guys can do this too. Yes, guys do do this. They're in in a sense of they they do do trickery. They do do um, Photoshop stuff. Yes, they do do this. However, they do not do. And what he's making a point of Pokemon is that he is specifically saying that the uh, 
that women, e-girls, are the ones that do all these false rape accusations. I'm sorry, I hate to break it to you, but this is what's happening. This is the reality that main face. Now, you can use your feminism, feminism logic, or whatever you want to call it, to try to justify or right the wrong or things that women are going through, but, it's, but that's not going to work. Men have to deal with this. You, like many others, which I will be, will be soon shown in this clip, will rightfully attack a man with no actual evidence whatsoever. This is what the guy is talking about. You people will jump down the men's throat, regardless of the situation, whether you have any evidence or not, and try to ruin his life without any evidence. Now, am I saying that Sinatra is the one that, you know, is that is essentially, um, uh, is innocent? No, I'm not. And I'm, Dufresne's not saying that either. He's saying, wait for the evidence and wait to see what happens. If he defrained, if, if Sinatra did it, then he fucking did it, all right? So he's a scumbag, and then he should be reprimanded and have repercussion against him. However, we have no evidence that def that Sinatra truly did this other than one actual video that people have been claiming that, that they've seen, okay? But we only got one side of the story. We don't have Sinatra's side of the story, and we need to see what happens and have it go to court. Again, this is not going to court. If you have women, if you have been raped or sexually assaulted in any other uh, instance, go to court and sell it to court. Don't go on to social media and start talking about it because that's not going to help. But I know you women. I know the women that if you have actually been sexually assaulted in any other way, it does go to court or you guys don't talk about it. Those are the two scenarios that you women do if that, if that horrible tragedy happens to you. That is the one, if it truly happens to you, that's what you do. But the women that do it today, that actually, like, that, that posted this, I don't believe you because so many times it's been falsely, it's been falsely accused that I have no, that I don't believe them straight up. I'm sorry. So, sorry, Pokemon, you're wrong. You're, you're wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It is women doing this and the story. Now, with the, if you're talking about, like, you know, trickery or Photoshop stuff, okay, yeah. Women, men do that too. And in some instances, yes, yes. Yes, they do. But when it comes to the Me Too movement, this this rape rape, rape accusations, nah, 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 nah. It, it, it's the women. Sorry. Like what? Wait, is the plural of succubus succubi? Are succubuses bisex? Are you succub? Are succubi bisex? Bis? Are they bisexual? <laughs> Asking for a friend. Anyways, besides the point. <laughs> <laughs> I oh okay and I see this very 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 often online um and I think it's tricky because a lot of people I can imagine and I even see them in my chat where they're like he's not wrong um I feel I don't know if this is what you'd consider a, a straw man argument but essentially he's trying to look like he's coming from the perspective of just being skeptical and logical, and it makes sense to wait for the other person's side of the story, blah, 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 blah. I don't even think he realizes that people's issue is not even that. It's the fact that he doesn't even seem to realize he only has this perspective because it's a girl. And I'm sure there have been many a times. No, he's not. That's not what he's doing. He's making a point to where, where mostly women do this. It's 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 just it's just straight up the truth. It's mostly women doing these rape accusations. I hate to break it to you, Pokemon, but it's the truth. He's not. It's not because he's sexist. It's like go. It's like Pokemon. Go look up a situation that is ha that happens exactly the same thing to what to to women in any scenario. I really want you to show me any evidence. Or, or a lot of evidence that are, that men are constantly doing this to women. Now, I'll wait. You can DM me. It'll be jmini2913 jmini at gmail.com, which is my current e fucking email. You can you can email me that, and I'll receive it. And you can we can have a video chat. We can discuss it or whatever. But I guarantee you, I want you to show me actual physical evidence of men actually doing these rape accusations. I'll wait. I'll wait. Because there's no... You're not going to find any. Sorry. You're just not. 
And the one that I will currently be talking to is is literally just one. Where a guy has told him something and he blindly believes it, blindly believes them. But I can promise you, as a girl who's been in this scene for years and years and years and years, it is just another reflection of the fact that we are rarely ever given the benefit of the doubt. And we have to work so hard to even be half as credible as someone simply because of what's between our legs. And that's crazy. That's crazy. Pokemon. No, the reason why it's so hard for you women, th this is the this is the actual negative sides of the Me Too movement. This is what the Me Too movement is doing to you guys in general. It's actually the opposite still though, because you know people are still believing what this woman says without actual evidence, so that's actually false. But this is the negative side of the Me Too movement. If you think that's crazy, it's not because the Me Too movement is act is what's doing is what is doing. It is it's doing exactly this. It is making the false. It is making actual accusations or rape accusations rather, making it to the point to where they're not being believed anymore. And the only thing that you have yourselves to blame for this is the Me Too movement and you women that are keep on doing this. I'm sorry, but that it's your own fault. It's your own fault that that's, that's making this happen. It's nobody else's. It's the Me Too movement, and then it's you guys. Sorry. And the women that are actually truly victimized by this have to suffer the have to suffer the consequences of what you women do because you are the ones that do the false accusations. And then it, it's the problem. Now, Pokemon. I'm not saying that you are the one that specifically are doing fa the false rape accusations. All right. You. I don't. As far as I've seen you, you have not done any of these as of yet. But, other women have done this, alright? A lot of them. And this is the, re and this is the repercussions of what's happening to, to what, what's happening to you women, in general. Where nobody's starting to believe you. And, I'm sorry, I, I, I hate this. I hate that. I hate that the Me Too movement is, is doing this. I, I absolutely hate it. I feel so sorry for the women that actually are truly affected by this. Because, it's not their fault. The women that are affected by this, truly... It's not their fault. It's not their fault. And I feel so sorry for you guys. But the women like this that are doing this type of crap, I don't feel, feel a bit sorry for you, okay? You're the, you're the actual problem. That's crazy. <sighs> um, yeah, so... I don't even know what else to say. That will be the end of the clip, guys. However, I want to address these two people right here. Quarter Jade and Daphne. And Daphne. Or whatever you want to fucking pronounce her name. Daphne, whatever. Okay. She says, literally shut the fuck up. Okay, Quarter Jade? Sorry. I hate to break it to you, girl. But... <laughs> it, you're not even understanding his side of the story. You are automatically believing on what that one girl is saying... Rather than you understanding anything at all. Alright? You are automatically believing what the girl says is true. Whether understanding any side of the story. So you shut the fuck up. No, you shut the fuck up. If you want to message me or do anything, you can also do the same thing. jmini2913 at gmail.com We can have a we can have a discussion via email. Or we can have a discussion on video. You choose. You pick. It's your ball game. Daphne, you as well. It's not a lost cause. Because... You are automatically believing it as well. Hate to break it to you. You are automatically believing the female rather than under than, rather than doing anything else. You women are a part of this problem. You are causing these issues. Just stop it. Stop it. You you are not helping anything. All right. I'm blasting you people because you deserve to be blasted. You have such a huge community, such a huge audience that you guys don't get blasted enough. All right. The only person that actually gets blasted over here is the main antagonizer over here is literally Pokemon. She's the only one that gets blasted. But you, Quarter Jade, you, Daphne, for whatever your opinions are, you don't get blasted enough. So right now, I'm blasting you. I'm blasting you, Quarter Jade, and I'm blasting you, Daphne. All right. Sorry, it's happening.
You're both getting blasted because your 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 opinions are stupid. They're not going to solve any problems with the women whatsoever. Now, can you be disagreeing with this take? Okay, that's fine. You can disagree with it, but don't don't but don't be doing this. All right, don't be doing this. You guys are you guys are an actual disgrace. So we're gonna go to um uh, to um what these other things here that we would have with uh with the accusations and they're trying to prove my point. We had Brett Kavanaugh accused of sexual assault and with uh with with Ford and that was all over the place where to the point where she uh um to um to the point where it's trying to not get into a point. It was mostly used as a political move, which was really fucked up, and this was a problem in general. Um, but he was also accused, and it didn't come out to be true because obviously he didn't do it. It was another Me Too movement thing, and this is what happened. Now, we'll shift to Jaden, a.k.a. your princess. This person here did a another sexual assault accusation to, specifically, um... Well, I would say to CLG Tuesday. He is a he is a pro player in an academy for CL, for CLG, which is called Interlogy Gaming. Um, and he's a mid laner. She did this, and she and everybody that came out to him, even Jess, this person here, as you can see, says it's a complete lie. And she did this com constantly as a Me Too movement to try to get this guy canceled, ruin his life, which almost succeeded, but now she has repercussions. She has repercussions. Because she she tried to do a Twitch Rivals thing and nobody wanted to play with her. Nobody wanted to do anything. And for good reason, more repercussions need to happen to you women like this that do this. Honestly, if this was something that happened, COG Tuesday should have taken this to court and he should have put you in jail. But unfortunately, this doesn't happen in these scenarios. It sucks. Now, we have Jasmina Bay that also did this. She did it to I um, mean the guy that's called it's me Lego that is on um that is uh, that's that's what he's called on Twitter and she did this and the guy had to come out with a full story and everything to explain himself thoroughly to see what to, to show to just say this is what's happening this is all false it was so bad she was so wrong and it was so bad she deleted the tweet and she also deleted her Twitter this is the person here that deleted her tweet the same person. Genie's just being a bit. And if we go here, it's gone. She deleted her tweet or it no or is protected and no longer exists. So guys, she was proven wrong again. This is another rape accusation that was proven wrong. Alright, guys? Again, I'm not a fan of Joe Biden. I, I do not like the man, all right? But this was another person that was doing Tara Reed's sexual assault allegation against Joe Biden. Again. They did this again, all right? They did this again, and this is a problem. This is another accusation against Joe Biden. Then we go back over here. We have uh, the rape and sexual misconduct against Donald Trump. This is another thing that she did to a 14-year-old child, all right? There was no... It was dropped or whatever, and it and it was against uh, uh, the uh, Me Too movement or whatever, all right? So... This being said, this didn't hold water, nothing happened, all right? So I don't know what these women are doing, but this, this is another thing that's happening. Now, we will go with Puppe, or Puppe, or whatever you want to uh, pronounce it. And this was for Cine Pie, all right, guys? She, this, this person was when she was uh, 14. And look at the replies that you have right here. Sounds fun to me, my 14 self would have been in heaven. Okay, yeah, no, this, this is not, this is not, this is not. That's. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. Men can be victims of t victims of sexual assault as well. It's not just women. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hate to break it to you guys, but we also suffered as well. Pepe is the one that did it. And no, it's not. It's not fun. Knock off of that bullshit right here. Knock it off. Knock it off. That's not true. No. No. Don't. No. 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 It's not fun. For him, it wasn't fun. So don't try to knock his experience like that. That's bullshit. All right. And we go here to Super Smash Bros. commentator, commentator, Senpai accused of sexual relationship with a fourteen-year-old player, and that was obviously Pape. Um, and this is the person here. She was 23, 24 when this happened, and you know it took a lot of heat. 
But again, she's, she doesn't have any repercussions. She's not in jail. If a guy did this, he would 100% be in jail without question. All right? So, again, again, this is something that happens. Now, this is the only situation to where a guy did this. A guide, and this was after four years later. Now, he's doing the same thing that women are doing, all right, where they're going online and shit. He should have honestly gone to court like like normal and done it. However, at the same time, he was a 14-year-old boy, all right? So him going to court and doing stuff like this, you know, it, it's different. It's a, it's, comp it's a different situation in this case because he's 14. He's not like 18, 20, or people in their adults that are doing this, all right? there uh, he he's not he's not really you know at doing this and not only that he was groomed all right he was also groomed so th this is not it's not the same situation all right so again this is the reason why i do not like these things now if Sinatra actually did this and it was negative, all right, then he, he is guilty and then he needs to be recommended. He has repercussions, all right? He needs to be put in jail. But until we know the full story, we can't make rash judgments. We can't make uh, decisions based on what evidence we have. We have one other story and we have none. He's cooperating with the investigation. He's doing all this other stuff that is, you know, helping the cause. And we have to wait and see. So sorry, you women out there that are automatically just believing this, believing this other woman or whatever. No, I'm sorry, guys. The Me Too movement needs to be crushed and it needs to be demolished. And we need to actually help the women that are actually having the problems with this. All right? So I hate to break it to you, Pokemon. Hate to break it to you, Quarter Jade. Hate to break it to you, Daphne. You, you, all three of you are idiots. All three of you are idiots. And I have a lot of things to say about Quarter Jade, too, with her freaking, or with her own stupidity of what she does. Um, I don't want to make a video about it because I really don't want to start drama in general. And I don't really... Well, I guess I, I guess I am kind of starting drama here, calling these three out. So I guess that's irrelevant. But I have a lot of... I have things to say about you as well. Because you, you've done one thing that really irritated me. But you contra you make yourself very hypocritical. Which is quite annoying. Alright? So I it's like, again, it, whatever. But seriously. It needs to stop. We need to listen to both sides of the story whenever this comes out, especially on the internet, especially on the internet. We need to wait till both stories come out before we decide anything, all right? But that's just the way it needs to be. It's innocent to proven guilty, not guilty until proven innocent, no. We don't destroy people's lives because we don't have information, all right? No. Feel sorry for the victim. Like, you know, you no, know, kind of understand their point. And then, you know, don't believe everything that they say, but, you know, you can you can feel some empathy. But we don't need to make rash decisions. We do not destroy somebody's lives. This is happening way too much. Way, way, way too much. So, hate to break it to you guys. If you guys want to stop this, if you guys actually want to be believed, then stop doing this. Now, the person that's uh, a bit, now the person that's accusing us of of doing this, if she's right, then good on you, all right? So, you know... Good on you. So you, you proved your point. You've been one of the very, very rare cases that this has actually been proven of. But uh, as for um, for Sinatra, I feel bad for him because he's going through he's going through help. But I don't know if he did it or not. I don't have evidence. I'm not gonna judge something or do whatever. I'm just want to see evidence before anything is decided. And, th and this goes both ways. So I'm gonna say this and I'll end my piece. Fuck the Me Too movement. Fuck what you women are doing to the actual truly victims of, of rape and sexual assault. I hate all of you that do this. And I'll see you guys later. See you guys in the next video. And peace. Fuck these women, dude. Fuck them.